Hey everyone, it's Carrie. Today I'm going to show you how to uninstall a Tushy Bidet Classic. And the reason I'm showing you how to do this is so whenever you move, whether it's an apartment or a home, you're able to take your Tushy with you. And if you know how to install a Tushy, then uninstalling is like 10 times easier. For me personally, I have taken this exact Tushy from New York City to Dallas and now where I live in Denver. And we have also had customers who, before the Tushy Travel came out, they used to take their Tushy and install it in hotel rooms and Airbnbs so whenever they traveled they could also wash their booty. So I just have a towel for any water that comes out and I have a screwdriver with the flat head. And I don't remember whether that's Phillips or the other one, but it's just a flat head screw driver. All right, that's literally all you need. So the very first thing that you need to do is to turn off the water. And that is the golden rule of doing anything around plumbing or anything with your toilet. Because if you don't turn off the water, when you start unattaching things, water just gets everywhere. So before you do anything at all, let's turn off the water and come and see. So all toilets are a little bit different, but um, you are turning off the water hose that is attached to your wall. So this, um, for this toilet, it has a little lever like this. And so you just turn it all the way, depending on the instructions that you can see on here, but it is now turned off. I see those a lot, but most toilets that I've seen have a little knob that you turn instead of like a lever. So always turn off the water. And the next thing I do is to check that the water is turned off. So uh, you can do that by simply flushing. Let's check it out. Uh, turns out that that is the remainder of the water in the tank and so you actually check by doing a second flush. Yep, see? I am flushing right now and there is no more water coming out so I know that the water is off so we can move on. All right, so the next step is to remove the toilet seat so we can actually take the tissue out. So come on close. This toilet seat, it has covers, which you can easily just pop off, pop that off, and then pop this off. And you can see that there are screws in here, and most of these toilet seat screws have nuts on the bottom. And so all you need to do is take your screwdriver and start unscrewing. And then I usually put a hand underneath to catch the nut when it falls off. So I can show you, this is what the nut looks like. And you can pop this baby out and we'll do the same for the other one. Put them where you can remember so you don't lose them. And then you can just lift up your toilet seat and set it aside for now. All right, so now you have your tushy and you can take it off and on the toilet. And so the next step is to unscrew the steel flexible hose from the bottom of your tushy. And I always like to do this over the toilet seat because there's usually some water left over. And if your nut is, or if the screw is really tight on the tushy, you can just simply use a towel, which helps the grip and lessens the pressure and tension on your fingers. So, all right, almost done. Oh, no water, there's a little bit. And you can just set your tushy aside. The next part is all going to happen with your face very close to the toilet. And so if your toilet is a little dirty, this is where I would recommend taking a break and cleaning everything because you're gonna get right up in there, which I'm about to do right now. So the next step is to remove the, fle the steel flexible hose from the mega adapter. And this piece and this piece both came with the Tushy systems. Nope, oh, 
There you go. Detach the hose that comes from the wall and detach it from the mega adapter, which basically split the water to go into the tushy. All right, and so I'm going to get really close in here again, so come on over. And now you see that the hose from the wall is detached from the toilet. So now the only thing you have left to do is to connect this back to your tank. This is where you really want to make sure it's nice and tight so there's no leaking of water behind your toilet. So now it's time to test to make sure that there's no leakage and which means I'm going to turn the water back on. And if there is no leakage, then when I turn it on, there should be no water coming from here. And if there is a leak, then we'll see water fall down. All right, moment of truth. Woo, no leaks. You have a final step, which is just to put your toilet seat back on and your toilet is ready to go. Actually, now it's like honestly a sad toilet because it doesn't have a tushy, but you're only taking it off because you're moving or something. So sad for the next owners until they get their own tushy. So as you see, I just put the screws back in and this is where um, you need the screwdriver again. So you basically need to hold the nut underneath the bolt and have it fit. And then as you're screwing right, the nut will, you know, screw up. And you take your little toilet seat caps, pop them back on, and voila! Now you have a sad, sad toilet without a tushy. But this means that you're moving on to bigger and better things and you can take your tushy with you anywhere you go. The only reason I uninstalled this tushy is because I'm about to install a tushy spa which has temperature control. So in my next video, we're going to be installing a tushy spa. So stay tuned. See you next time.